Dean, a performance which the scoreline doesn't reflect this evening. Nah, look, listen here, lads, give her all again. Um, we've been on the road, it's our fifth game with the bounce on the road, and when you come here, these are amongst the club for this division. Um, and the ammunition they got off the bench is sort of the difference in the game. Um, and we've got three starters in our back line missing, I'm not making excuses, but uh, you have to come here full strength. You know, and, uh, I thought we get a good account of ourselves, I thought tactically we were excellent. Uh, to be aggressive in our press, separate press up lovely, scored from that. And then we had some great chances in the first half and you know quality really let us down in front of the goal to go two, three, if not four at times. So look, like I say they slightly changed the system um, in the sense of they sort of moved to a diamond in um, midfield. And um, they're a constant threat, their patterns are excellent, they're a good side. You know, you don't get they got 75 points. You know, 21 games, that's so remarkable all the time. So they're in the driving seat and the ball's in their court to win this title. So um, them and Wrexham have been outstanding with their points at home. It's absolutely ridiculous to be honest with you what they've been doing. So um, we've got to give both of them teams a lot of credit. And uh, from our point of view, I'm proud of the lads. Ahead of the equaliser, Ryan de Harvey was down at the edge of the box for quite some time. Have you got any comment on that? The referee, the referee said one of their lads was down as well and we'd never kicked the ball out in the same phase. Um, no, you would have liked to see some sportsmanship. I'm not going to come for players right now. It is what it is. But I would say, just go back the floor and Gromley. You know, and I love Ryan. Ryan's like son of for me. He had to do a job at right wing back for me tonight. Um, I know he's rolled his ankle. Um, but what we would have liked to check how severe the injury is, that could have been a bad injury. That could have happened. You know I think he should have went and seen the referee, but at the end of the day, he didn't. So, and the phase of play went on for about three minutes. Um, so, I'm not going to blame Notts County, but if there was a bad injury to our player, or say a snapped Achilles or something like that, he's rolled his ankle, or something that might have happened to him, a cardiac arrest or something, that referee's got a lot on his hands. I'm not being bad in that. I mean, we weren't play acting. You know, he, he has rolled his ankle. He's in there with loads of ice in his ankle. So, it could have been something different, and he could have had a lot on his, you know, a lot on his plate from that. So. Ideally, it, 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 I didn't think we'd come here and slow it down or anything. I think we played aggressive. I think we got after them. Um, we asked questions of them defensively. And, uh, yeah, look, listen, we just sort of ran out of steam a little bit at the end. It's a bit disappointing to lose. Four one, the goal difference is going to matter for the position we're in. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, it, it, it was what it was. We got the equaliser. And then, obviously, you're thinking, can you stay in the game for another five or ten minutes? And you're trying to make our own subtle changes. And we get done again. So, uh, like I say, they're a good side, so... Today was a free hit for us. And finally, 181 bees come today. Great support from you. Yeah, support has been outstanding. Thank them again. They've been on the road with us at least over 100 of them have come to most of the away games. Um, and they can see they can see the effort from the players. Um, when you come up against big, big sides for this division, like I say, they shouldn't be in this division, but they are for a certain reason. And uh, you, know, you come against these sides, you need everybody fit. So we just want to thank them for the support and stick and boys. The biggest thing for us now is we've got to lick our wounds, move on to the next game. We're Saturday, Tuesday again, you now for the next six weeks again. So it, it, it's relentless, it doesn't stop. Um, my job now is to sort of pick the players up. And, um, you know, what I said to you today, we're in the market, we need to sign a couple of players because our situation with injuries is not good now in, in a crucial stage. And we need to sign, we don't want to be playing players out of position, we don't want to play in a midfield at right wing back. Um, so, but yeah, look, the players gave their all. The supporters got right behind us. You can see what they, what they like was at the end. And uh, I think we got a good side, a little bit of a scare. But we just want to like to come here with a full strength team. Didn't thank you for your time. Cheers.